This video is brought to you by AztecaSoccer.com, your one-stop shop for all the latest and greatest soccer gear. Be sure to use coupon code SR4U at checkout to receive 10% off any order of $100 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on-feet video of the brand new Nike Mercurial Superfly 4 CR7 Silverware colorway. Now inside the box, they do include a couple of extras to go along with the shoes. They include this tag that we actually got with the previous CR7 colorway as well. It reads, the sparkle aesthetic on this shoe will fade off during play, but will not affect the performance of this product. That's because this colorway, just like the last one, has that glitter effect on the upper which we'll talk about more a little bit later in this video they also include a string bag to go along with the shoes the string bag is white in color with black strings white nike swoosh in the middle with the orange and sparkly black outline and you're going to find the cr7 logo on the back in black as well other than that all you're going to find inside the box as you guys can see are the shoes themselves. So we'll get these guys out of the box really quickly and take a closer look at this brand new, extremely unique CR7 silverware colorway of the Mercurial Superfly 4. Now this shoe has just launched today. It's available exclusively on the Nike soccer app or Nike football app, depending on which country you're from. They will be available in store I believe within the next couple of days. And I will actually have buy it now links on the review page of my website. It's the first link down below in the description of this video. On that page, as soon as links are available, the buy it now links will be there along with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you'll actually be able to pick these up below their normal retail price. So if you are interested in picking up a pair of these for yourself, first link down below in the description, go ahead and check it out. Now in today's video, we're gonna be going over all the details as far as the colorway is concerned, as well as tech specs. So you can learn a little bit more about how this shoe fits, feels, and performs. So if you're interested in learning more on this particular shoe, please stick around. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. To start things off, let's talk about the colorway itself. Now, as you guys can see, this does have that same glimmer effect that we saw on CR7's previous signature colorway, which I have right here, but instead of the base being black, as you guys can see, it is what Nike calls metallic silver. To me, it looks like a chrome base with tons and tons of sparkle on top. It's very unusual as far as appearance is concerned, but very flashy and bright. So if that's the type of look that you're going for, this shoe is definitely going to deliver significantly more vibrant, in my opinion, than the black and white one that I have right here. Be curious to hear your opinions on it down below in the comment section as well. Do you like how these look? Why or why not? Because they are definitely over the top and more or less never been done before as far as the visual aesthetics of this shoe are concerned. Now as far as that glimmer effect is concerned, of course just like the previous model and like I mentioned at the start of the video, it will wear off as you wear the shoes. The only mystery at this point is how the shoe will look once some of that glitter effect has actually worn off. Um, it's a possibility that it will still have a shiny chrome appearance to it. It's also a possibility that it'll have kind of more of a dull gray appearance to it. Again, at this point, I don't really know. What I can do is actually wear a pair and perhaps make a follow-up video in the next couple of weeks and let you guys know how the glimmer effect actually wears off. Let me know down below in the comment section if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing. But nonetheless, from out of the box, they are very, very glimmery. I guess that's the best way to describe it. It's a sparkly chrome. That's what they look like in person. Now, of course, you do have the Nike swoosh that is white in the middle. Still has that sparkle effect across the entire thing. Uh, you do have the light orange outline on the inside and then the thicker black outline on the outside of that orange line. And then, of course, you have the same color scheme here in the CR7 branding on the medial side in the C and the R. And then the 7 is just black and white, as you guys can see. Now, the flying it that is exposed on this shoe because obviously the whole shoe is flying it but a lot of it is covered up by this silver um, uh, Nike skin covering you do have the flying it area that's exposed that's kind of a navy blue online it does look to be black um, but it definitely is a navy blue color as you guys can see on camera so you have that in the dynamic fit collar as well as the top area of the shoe also the fused on area down the back is also um, that navy blue color. You're gonna find black in the laces that are pretty much just solid black laces, nothing special about them. You do have the black at the top of the dynamic fit collar, as well as your mercurial branding in black, which is actually a little bit tricky to see against the dark blue background. Moving on to the um, sole plate, you're gonna find that the sole plate is carbon fiber, of course, and it does have the blue tint, just like the previous CR7 colorway, which I think looks really, really cool. Some of the studs are black, as you guys can see, and some of the studs are that hyper turquoise color 
which is kind of like a light blue. You're also going to find the hyper turquoise color in the insole itself, which has obviously the hyper turquoise mesh lining on top. You can see that it does say created to the exact specifications of Cristiano Ronaldo, and you do find the number eight. That represents that this is the eighth signature colorway um, of from the Mercurial line that CR7 has had. It doesn't mean this is the eighth pair that they made. Uh, just keep that in mind. I know a lot of people get confused about that. Um, so this one would have been Mark 7. This one obviously marked 8. And it's pretty much just a standard Superfly 4 insole. You get the mesh liner on top, perforations throughout, and it's just a single layer of foam. But that's pretty much it as far as the visuals of the shoe are concerned. Again, let me know your opinions on it down below in the comment section. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Why or why not? And with that being said, let's move on to the tech specs so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance. As far as performance is concerned, there's a big reason why the Superfly 4 is such a popular shoe. It really does have a lot to offer when it comes to performance and nothing else quite feels like this shoe at this point in time. So in today's video, we're going to go over all the basics as far as tech specs go, the things you should know about this shoe if you were planning on picking them up. But again, if you guys want as much detailed information as possible on the overall fit, feel and performance, I would strongly recommend checking out the full written review on my website, which you can find via the very first link down below in the description of this video. So what makes this shoe special? The main reason why I would pick these up is for the Flyknit Upper. The Flyknit Upper really does provide a sock-like sensation in terms of how the shoe wraps your foot and just feels on your foot in general. But with that being said, despite how thin and flexible the upper is, it is surprisingly sturdy and just makes for a very responsive sensation, especially once you get used to how these things feel. So the Flyknit area, that is covered in the silver Nike skin um, is gonna be the more structured area of the shoe. It's thin, it's soft, it's flexible, it's gonna provide that barefoot feel on the ball, and because it is a one-piece construction, there's no overlapping materials, it makes for a very uniform touch across the entire foot, something that I'm a huge fan of when it comes to this particular model. You're also gonna have that built-in support with the Brio cables that are um, in the actual Flyknit upper itself. They run from the base of the sole into the lacing system, as well as a few used on internal support cage that I can't actually show you guys because uh, I can't open up the shoe, but you can definitely tell that it's there when you have the shoe in your hands in person. And both of those elements make for a very sturdy, responsive sensation once you pull the laces tight. A lot of people ask, whether or not the laces are even important with this shoe, they play a huge role in all of the structure when it comes to how much uh, responsiveness that this shoe is gonna provide. You pull those laces tight, it pulls on these cables, it holds your foot in place and keeps it locked in place even when you're making hard cuts and lateral movements. Um, and again, it just really makes for one of the most responsive uh, playing experiences that you can get from any other shoe on the market right now. As far as the finish on the upper is concerned, of course you do have that Nike skin covering. In this particular situation, it is a metallic silver color with the glimmer effect on top, which does feel a little bit different in comparison to a standard Superfly 4, which is right at what I have right here in the form of the Volt and Pink colorway. Now the major difference here is going to be just a very slight touch on the surface of the upper. On the standard colorways, you have pretty much a smooth Nike skin covering that has a slightly kind of light wax sensation to the touch. It's a little bit grippy, but honestly not that much. In the case of the CR7 colorway, because it does have that glimmer effect, it's a very fine kind of gritty sensation, almost like a very fine grit sandpaper, but not quite as significant as you might think. Um, but with this particular shoe, because of how it wears, because that glitter effect will actually wear off, it will become more and more smooth and more and more like the standard Superfly as you start to wear them in. As far as what the difference in feel and performance is concerned, there really isn't one. I've worn both variations, and again, it's very difficult to tell a difference between the two variations. So if you were worried about picking this colorway up or this colorway up based on which one is better or worse, there isn't a better or worse option. Just go for the colorway that you like best, if, you're, if I'm completely honest with you guys. It's not something that's going to be detrimental to the performance or enhance or take away from your experience with the Superfly 4. You also will notice that uh, the standard colorways do have the ACC branding right here on the medial side, something that is distinctly different on the CR7 colorways. That's something that obviously they chose not to print on the upper of the shoe. I would think because of the actual glitter effect that they put on the upper, uh, but nonetheless, ACC is still a feature on this particular shoe. It's just something that, like I said, they did not print 
on the upper itself. Now running through the middle of the shoe as well as in the mid cut area is a more elasticated variation of flying it. It's a lot less structured. When you slide your foot inside, the center portion really stretches around your foot. And again, just makes for that nice sock like kind of compression fit around your foot, which is really, really nice. And then of course you do have the mid cut design, something that obviously Cristiano Ronaldo does modify to be a little bit lower. Um, the retail variation, as you guys can see, is cut kind of three quarters of the way to halfway uh, above your ankle or right around your ankle. Um, it's not something that gets in the way by any means. It's thick, it's elasticated, and it's not necessarily something that provides any kind of ankle support, despite what a lot of people actually think. There's no actual structure to the dynamic fit collar. The main reason for it actually being there is simply to provide that sensation of the shoe being seamless, an extension of your body. It flows from your ankle, from your leg, into your foot, and it feels like something that, like I said, is a pair of socks on your feet, as opposed to a pair of shoes that are strapped to your feet if that makes any sense it'll feel a little bit weird at first but once you get used to it after a couple hours of wear time it's not really something that you notice all that much anymore um, as far as the heel counter is concerned there is one there it's completely internal there is also a heel liner on this shoe you have a smooth synthetic liner on the inside not much padding but enough there to provide a nice comfortable feel um, the insole i already showed you guys it is fully removable of course and then of course you do have the carbon fiber sole plate another signature feature of the Superfly 4. In all honesty, it does feel a lot like the compressed nylon sole plate that you will find on the Vapor 10, but definitely does look a lot cooler. And then of course you do have the signature mercurial stud pattern that is quite aggressive as far as uh, traction is concerned on firm natural grass plane surfaces. If you want as much grip as possible when pushing off in a forward direction, or even when making quick lateral cuts, that's really what this bladed stud pattern is all about. It's very good as far as stability is concerned and really great as far as outright traction goes so again if you've worn mercurials in the past if you're looking for aggressive traction this shoe is definitely going to deliver in terms of what it has to offer with its particular stud pattern so that's pretty much it as far as tech specs and what you should know regarding the performance again if you guys want more detailed information check out the full written review on my website it's the first link down below in the description and with that being said let's move on to a quick weigh-in so we can see how lightweight these guys are as far as weight is concerned, the Superfly 4 certainly isn't the lightest shoe on the market, but it's light enough and provides a particular feel where you don't really feel like you're wearing shoes at all when these are strapped to your feet. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind that this is a brand new pair in a size 9 US. We're going to throw it on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 7.4 ounces, which is the equivalent of 209 grams. So again, if you're looking for something that's going to provide a lightweight kind of thin feel on your foot, the Superfly 4 definitely has what you're looking for. Again, it's not the lightest shoe in the world as far as numbers go, but that's not a huge concern because like I said, the way these things feel on your feet, you pretty much can forget that you're wearing shoes altogether. So that's pretty much it as far as the weigh-in portion of the video goes. And move on next to the quick on-feet portion so we can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and of course what the sizing is like. All right, so here's a look at the CR7 Superfly 4s on feet. On my left foot, I have the stock black laces that come with the shoes. And on my right foot, I have a pair of reflective metallic silver SR4U replacement laces. If you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, check out the website sr4ulaces.com. It'll be linked in the description of this video. The metallic silver color that I have right here is not available just yet, but they should be available within the next two weeks or so. So stay tuned to the website, for you laces.com if you're perhaps interested in a pair of these metallic silver laces as far as how these things fit and feel on feet they feel just like the rest of the superfly four colorways it does have that sock like sensation but if you haven't worn a pair of superflies before or any of the flying it mid cut models from nike for that matter it has a unique sensation from right out of the box it takes some getting used to if you wear these straight into a game you will run into some issues with them just feeling awkward perhaps even a little bit uncomfortable but if you break them in slowly to take your time with them, and like I said, just get used to them over a longer period of time as opposed to just jumping in and wearing them like normal shoes, you shouldn't have any issues at all. They're actually very comfortable once broken in and once you get used to them. As far as the fit is concerned, it is still a mercurial, so it does have a tighter fit overall. It certainly is not what I would consider to be a wide shoe, but it still will fit most people. With that said, if you do have particularly wide feet, this probably isn't the best option for you. And the way they fit from right out of the box is more or less the way they'll fit for their entire lifespan. You're not gonna get any stretch 
out of the Flyknit material. As far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. All right, guys, sit for my review of the latest CR7 Superfly 4, a very interesting looking shoe, certainly not for everybody, but if you like flashy shoes and you're a fan of the Superfly 4, then this is definitely one of those colorways that you should probably pick up. Again, if you guys are interested in picking up a pair of these for yourself, check out the review page on my website as soon as these things are available in store. I will have buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you will be able to pick these up below their normal retail price. So again, first link down below in the description, go ahead and check it out. If you have any questions regarding this shoe at all, leave them down below in the comment section. I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.